um, it hasn't affected me in, in the sense that I've become more paranoid or me afectado a mí en el sentido de que me haya vuelto más paranoico. I, I wash my hands a little bit more, maybe. Quizás me lavo más seguido las manos. But uh, it's it's not something that I mean I, I realize this story that we're doing is a story still. Pero obviamente me doy cuenta que lo que estamos haciendo es una historia. But it has definitely opened my eyes to to epidemics like this that can actually occur and and the, and the mass effect that it can have on on, 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 on the world. Impacto masivo que podría tener en el mundo. Um, he is. I think it's his, it's his personality on top with the intelligence and the information that he has going into the series. Que es, creo que es su personalidad, además de la inteligencia eh, que lleva y que eh, contribuye a esta serie. And he is a, he's a character that is surrounded by a lot of serious scientists that have a lot of focused work to do. Y es un personaje que está rodeado por una serie de personas que son expertas en el trabajo. But his job is to get in there and figure things out for himself. And he has to get some of these people on his side. So that, that's been a lot of fun. Eso ha sido muy entretenido, muy I, mean, I, I definitely think the, the social message for season one Creo que definitivamente el mensaje social para la primera temporada is that humanity is que la humanidad is, is obviously to have humanity and to take care of the world and the people in it is very important. A la humanidad y tener las personas que la cuidan eh, es muy importante. And that it's very fragile. Y que también es muy frágil. It takes something in a petri dish, in a science, Toma in a science lab. Toma algo que es una, una plato de petri. That could possibly destroy the world. Y que posiblemente puede so I think we have to I think we have to take care to understand who is in charge of all of these uh, scientific experiments in the world and what their motivation actually is Thanks. my character he's from he was from the uh, the infectious diseases department of the military, but he wasn't going up there as a standard scientist like like Billy Campbell's character or Kira's character. Um, they're from the CDC and they were very focused on the virus. I was more focused on, at least in the first couple of episodes, where the virus is maybe moving, how it moves through the structure, um, more more on the science uh, uh, of, of 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 engineering as opposed to as opposed to the sort of viral uh, viral sciences. Um, so his his job was to figure out that side of things, not necessarily um, stopping the virus from uh, from the outbreak. It's not that wasn't his job. He wasn't there to diagnose or figure out how to stop it. Everyone's everyone's asking about the difficulties. It seems. But there wasn't a lot of difficult stuff. I mean, I was working with an amazing cast, an amazing crew, in a beautiful city in Montreal. You know, uh, to think of the difficulties is a lot harder than to think of all the good stuff. The sets, the sets were outstanding. The, the, the construction, I mean, you've seen in the first episode, that was all built for us. All the details, even in the elevator, the walls, the small details, everything that you see, all the technical uh, equipment, it was mind blowing. The difficulty was maybe the long hours. I mean, we work, you know, 14 hours a day sometimes. And, uh, but even then, it was just it was just a pure joy. It's hard to say that you, that you that you have difficulties with stuff when you really love your work. You know, I can't speak for the crew that had to stay out in these really cold rooms sometimes, you know, minus 10 degrees for hours on end. But as an actor, I... It was, it was, it was lovely. Hablas de una primera temporada. ¿Para cuántas temporadas está pensado? ¿Y cómo hacer que una serie así no se desgaste y quede en una decepción de dos o tres temporadas que de pronto ya no tienen sentido? 
Um, and that's the thing. The, the, the question as far as how long uh, the season's going to go is more of a question for our executive producers and the, and the writers and our showrunner, Stephen Maeda. But, but what we're planning, what I understand that they're planning is for each season to do some, uh, have a focus and a different location to Pero keep the audience is interested. Obviamente, cada temporada tendrá un distinto enfoque y también una locación diferente para mantener el interés. And then two specific things that keep our show different. Y dos cosas específicas que mantienen nuestro show diferente. Is that each within each season, a lot of things will change. Y que es que en cada temporada muchas cosas van a cambiar. And each character. Y cada personaje is hiding something. Está ocultando. Por último, me gustaría saber Finalmente, qué sientes no. que en una serie así de pronto se habla de salvar a la humanidad y es el mismo ser humano el que lo salva. What, ¿Qué significa what esto para ti? Que no sea basado en gente con superpoderes o cosas así. Yeah, being, being responsible for mankind uh, in, in, a, in a show is, 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 is a lot to shoulder. My character is. My character is maybe is he responsible for saving mankind or is he responsible for destroying mankind? That you'll have to see. You'll have to watch. But um, his participation. I mean, the thing is with. But the thing is, with the difference between one of these shows and a superhero show. Is maybe just the amount of realism. Es quizás la cantidad de realismo. But that is also not to say that Helix won't have a very large supernatural element that plays Pero in this show. Pero eso no quiere decir que Helix no va a tener un uh, un gran contenido sobrenatural. So just keep watching. Así es que por favor <laughs> sigan lo viendo. Um, we we would receive the episodes a little bit in advance. Los episodios un poquito enough to do our work. And each episode, we are kind of unfolding our, our characters and developing them further. You definitely get a glimpse of where Bayaceros comes from within season one. You, you understand a bit of his pain and what he's going through as a human. Good characters, bad characters all have something that they're going through. That's what keeps them interesting. That's what brings the humanity to, to the characters. And you definitely see a, a change. Season two is going to be even more in depth as far as his where he comes from and his and his dark side, his light side, all of that comes into play in season two even more. But season one, you're definitely going to get a, an idea of who Sergio Bayaceros is. Actualmente hay una oferta muy grande Currently, de series y películas que tocan este offer, tema de pandemia. Uh, uh, de ¿Qué ofrece pandemic, esta so serie? ¿Por qué tendría que engancharme a ver esta serie? ¿Por qué? Because it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of and it's a lot of questions that you kind of get that you pose as you go along. You see these things happening and you don't know why, and you gotta wait till the next episode. And it starts out as viruses, but then it quickly becomes something else. So I can't spoil too much, but there's there's it's not just your average virus show. No, it's a show. La oferta que hay hoy en día para, para los actores de las diferentes producciones que hacen los canales de TV para es muy creciente. ¿En qué área a ti te ha gustado trabajar más? ¿En área en, en, en las series de televisión, en cine? Yeah, en, the, the, ¿En qué te ha gustado a ti más? ¿O qué te has sentido como más cómodo? Um, most of my career has been based uh, on television. I mean, I, I've done I've done a lot of different popular hecho, series. series populares, yeah. um, but now I'm starting to get opportunities in film. Uh, de cine. 
And really the only difference between film and television la única entre el cine y la is televisión. the amount of time to do your work. Es la cantidad de tiempo para llevar a cabo tu you know, we, I made a movie last this month sí, that is two, two hours long, horas, and we took uh, 14 days, I think it was 14 days sí, to shoot it. Y creo que fueron 14 días de grabación. You know, you just get, you get a little bit more time, and then we, each episode sí, of a TV series tiempo, we shoot in seven days. Cada episodio de la serie de televisión se lleva siete días. You know, and then you get on, when I get on to larger films, like, like this one with Blake Lively and Harrison Ford, they shot for a month to shoot for two hour Harrison Ford Blake Lively. So it's just a, it's a certain amount of time that you get to do your work, and that's really it. But also, the nice thing about television is the amount of work that you get to do. por supuesto, la positivo de la televisión es la cantidad de tiempo que dedicas para llevar a cabo tu trabajo. Perfecto. Quisiera que invitaras al público latino a ver esta serie y a darles una razón para estar sentado frente al televisor y disfrutar de Hellsing. I was fortunate that they, they decided that my character, the writers decided that my character was Brazilian. Um, I'm, I'm half Lebanese, and I know there's a lot of there's a lot of Lebanese people that live in Brazil. Um, it's actually a larger population in Brazil than even in Lebanon. So it's kind of neat to be connected to that somehow. Um, de alguna manera estar conectado con esto. And get away from just playing terrorists that they, that they put no the Middle like Eastern people in these kind of roles. Que todos los que vienen del Medio Oriente normalmente esos son los papeles que les asignan. What I do hope Lo is sí espero, the Latin American uh, viewers um, es que los televidentes latinoamericanos give me some, some leeway with my accent. De alguna manera me perdonen el acento. I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm learning, and I want to continue to learn, and I, and I, and I love the culture. The Latin American culture is very interesting to me. And I, and I hope that season two, especially, you're going to see a lot more of that with my character. But it's nice to it's nice to see um, a lead character from Latin America. It's muy agradable ver que uno de los personajes principales Es so it's, I feel honored to be put in that position. Es un honor el estar en esa posición.